Hi guys, it's Angie with Fun Endeavors Tie-Dye Lab. Today I'm making a mandala shirt, but I'm going to put the mandala both on the front and the back side of the shirt. My shirt has been soaked in soda ash, I wrung it out in my panda spin dryer, and so it's just barely damp. I also have my shirt turned inside out. I'm going to fold the bottom of the shirt up to the top of the shirt to fold my shirt in half. Then I'm going to fold my shirt in half the other way just to find where the middle of my shirt is. I'm going to use a washable marker and make a dot where the middle of my shirt is. Then putting my thumb on that dot, I'm going to fold the right side of my shirt up and the left side of my shirt up, kind of beginning an airplane fold. I want to make both sides equal, so I'm adjusting my shirt as I need to, to make sure I have my folds done properly. Now I'm going to take my fingers and pinch this main fold, and fold the entire thing in half. I'm going to take each side and fold it down toward my middle seam one more time. For this mandala, I'm going to use some hemostats. So I'm using various sizes of hemostats, both straight and curved. The first hemostat, I'm just going to put at an angle on the end of my shirt. The second hemostat is also straight, and I'm going to put it at an angle on my shirt too. Then the rest of the hemostats that I'm going to put on the shirt are going to be various sizes of curved hemostats. I'm pointing the curve down toward the end of my shirt. I'm going to ice dye this shirt in the muck, so I'm going to put it inside of a tub. And I have to have a tub where the hemostats will fit, so it's got to be a little bit larger tub. Then once I get the shirt down inside of the tub, I'm going to take the rest of the shirt and I'm going to scrunch it up and hold it in place with some rubber bands. Then I'm going to set the shirt aside for a day or so and I'm going to let it dry out really well. Okay, so now it's time to start applying the dye. For the mandala portion of this shirt, I'm going to alternate between three colors. I'm using a pro-chemical and dye color called Cotton Candy right at the very end.
followed by Brilliant Blue from Custom Colors, and Lavender from Grateful Dyes. I'm just going to alternate those three colors in all of these different hemostat areas. Then I'm going to use Great Grape from Grateful Dyes for the scrunch portion. Then as I mentioned earlier, I'm just going to allow this mandala to process down in the muck. What muck is, is it is the runoff from the ice and the dye. So when I put my shirt down in the tub and I add my dye to the top of it and ice on top, as the ice melts it runs down through the dye and the runoff from that dye and ice is called muck. And to allow a shirt to process in the muck means that you just let it sit in all of that runoff while it processes before you rinse it out. After I have all my dye on my shirt, I'm going to make a barrier to go around my shirt. I really can't make one for the area where I have the hemostats because it's a little bit difficult to do that, so I don't mess with that. But around the scrunch portion, I'm going to take some strips from plastic cutting boards and bind them together with a couple binder clips, form it around the scrunch portion, and then hold that whole thing in place with some dye bottles that I've just filled with water to use as weights. What this does is it helps me to keep the ice on this portion of my shirt. Otherwise, what can happen is I either have to mound the ice up on top, or as I put the ice on, it's just gonna run off of the shirt because it's not a flat shape. Then I'm going to sprinkle some additional soda ash on top of my shirt and put the ice on top. After I finish putting my ice on top, I'm going to set this tub someplace where I don't mess with it or disturb it until I'm ready to rinse it out. I did come back after the ice melted and added just a couple more pieces of ice to the portion where I have the hemostats. Because that's a pretty thick fold, I wanted to make sure I got plenty of ice and dye going down throughout that area where I wouldn't end up with some big white spots. Then after that second round of ice melted, I went ahead and let it process for at least 24 hours. Alright, so here's what our mandala shirt looks like. I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. If you are, I would sure appreciate it if you'd hit the big red subscribe button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you all for watching and I hope you have a great day.